Prologue was interesting, like, um, yeah, I was not doing it from last year. Um, all the highest numbers went first, so it just, yeah, I was uh, pretty well one of the first lot to go through, and yeah, it was pretty tough. And um, yeah, got through the first bit and that, and then just got held up with a couple of guys, but that's just the way it goes. You uh, got to take the good with the bad, and um, yeah, we just, uh, yeah, got through Prologue. Now, just got to get ready for the race and get psyched up for that. Prologue was pretty fun, uh, it was pretty interesting, it was really wet, slippery out there and pretty technical so uh, the guys who got through without falling, out, falling off uh, done you know good times so uh, my prologue was, uh, I haven't even seen results yet but um, it was okay, I got stuck a couple of times, there was a few few slower guys stuck on sections and everyone sort of had a bit of problem with that so um, that sort of chopped and changed it all around a bit but yeah it was fun so it'd be good to get this uh, race started and get down these big gullies and see if we can get out of them and, uh, and uh, battle it out for three hours. Yeah, it definitely makes it heaps tougher, you know, like in the extreme section you got all these logs and they're just they're so wet, um, the water dragging up off the puddles off the ground just make it so hard to uh, get over stuff smoothly because you're slipping and sliding everywhere, so um, definitely the rain, if it was dry it'd actually probably be a really, really fun and good race, but in the wet it's going to be a lot tougher, you know, we're going to be down in these gorges here pushing our bikes and stuff like that, so, but um, you know, everyone's in the same boat, we've all got to ride the same track, so um, yeah, it should, it should be fun, I'm just going to try and enjoy it and get around. Yeah, it was a bit of fun. Like, uh, I don't really know times yet. I, I got it through some of the harder stuff easier than what I thought, and then messed up some of the easy stuff. So, it was fun to give us a taste of what we got to come. So, yeah, it was good. You know, I uh, took off and went really hard in the first grass stroke section, and uh, yeah, after watching a few of the boys, I knew where to watch out for a few, you know, slippery logs and you know, a few things were forming out there. So, just you know, took my time and got through as cleanly as I could, and and the you know the time was was not too bad. And managed to get the win, so it's a good way to start off the day with a sneaky sneaky grand in the pocket, and uh, hopefully we can carry the form through and and do a ride right in the race. Yeah, it was sort of pretty good, but I got stuck in the tyres here. It uh, sort of fell off and I had to pick it up, so that lost me a bit of time. But um, yeah, reasonable. Didn't didn't have too many too many dramas. But uh, Matt smoked me there, and uh, and Jarvis and um, Mitchum Harper, so ended up fourth. Ah, uh, prologue was difficult. It was difficult last year as well. Um, I kind of just try and get through that, survive that part, and then worry about the three-hour race. It's, uh, a little bit more my style. I struggled pretty bad, embarrassed myself out there in the prologue. So, um, got through, fell over a couple of times, but made it through. And um, it's a, definitely difficult in the rain, kind of made it a bit muddy, and tyres and logs and stuff are all pretty slippery, so it's hard for sure. Prologue track is uh, definitely a different one, you know, it's pretty extreme out there and the uh, water's uh, made it interesting. Um, 
my run sort of was going smooth until I stalled it a couple of times and uh, you know got stuck in the tyres but all good fun. Yeah I was pretty happy with the prologue, um, ended up coming second, uh, 0.7 of a second behind Matty Phillips, uh, I was pretty happy to get that. There's a lot of quick boys here this year, it's a bit bigger than last year and um, track's pretty wet and hard and hopefully the race goes all good. <laughs> yeah, the rain made it pretty wet. Um, there's water holes already out there, but um, all the logs and all that are already wet, and just can't judge what the wheels are going to do on the logs because they're so slippery. Um, yeah, it made it real tricky and muddy out there. Yeah, this, um, that bit of rain we've had in the last couple of days is uh, definitely going to make it pretty tricky. It's, uh, yeah, some of them hills are going to be tough to get up and uh, the, yeah, we just done our prologue then and um, just, just to even get around that little bit of a track is pretty tough. So yeah, we just, uh, we're, yeah, not, don't know what to expect out there as yet. We'll, uh, once we hit that first lap up and we get around, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll know what we're dealing with. But it, yeah, it should be good fun. We're just, um, yeah, that's it. Mainly, if you just try and keep it fun, you'll uh, yeah, you'll get around. It's one of these events where you just got to try ride smooth and um, and be smart about what you're doing instead of you know running your bike into the ground after two hours. You know, you get three hours to go. So, um, but yeah, confidence-wise, I feel good, and I got a new bike and new team, so I'm just it's a good race to uh, just start adjusting to the changes. I'm just going to get out there and try and try and do some clean laps if I make a lap, and and just see where we're at. Oh, the water worst part is getting wet boots and gloves. I think uh, your gloves when it gets a bit slippery, but no, it, it'll it'll be alright. Like we'll just try and tippy toe around edges. Yeah, no, the rain hasn't really affected me. You know, being a Tassie boy, but uh, yeah, definitely the track's going to be a lot a lot tougher than when the boys first set out to build it. You know, they've put a lot of effort into building the track and making it a lot harder this year. So it's going to be challenging, and you know, anything could happen during the race. It's just a matter of um, you know, good start and and uh, don't get in any uh, bad situations and lose an exhaust or anything like that. So, yeah, the two strokes should be fun. Yeah, I know it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough day. So just, um, yeah, just got to battle on and, you know, anything can happen and, and keep pushing on to the end. It's Now it's wet, it's going to be completely different, you know. It's just going to be staying on the bike is going to be the hardest thing. Yeah, I mean the um, steepest hill out there last year they had a chicken run um, and I never even climbed the steepest hill, I went the chicken way the whole day but uh, this time the chicken way is uh, it's quite hard as well and a lot longer so I think we'll have to try the hill but like you said the rains made it real slippery, we tried to walk up it yesterday and you couldn't even walk up so <laughs> it's steep and it'll be hard I think, um, I don't know, a lot of people's races might end right there, it's only about a K in. <laughs> uh, just expecting good challenge on the bike you know just out there to have a bit of fun and uh last race of the year so yeah just uh go out there and tackle what uh what lies out in the uh in the valleys and uh rocks and see how we go yeah I, yeah i went out there and had a look and i didn't do the race last year and definitely uh, it's going to be interesting you know the the mud's going to make it hard and um guys being stuck you know there's only one line so uh, it uh, should be an interesting day. It'll be a tough race, it'll just be like last man standing I reckon. Hopefully we can get around first lap, it's pretty wet out there on the hills. Yeah, I had a quick look yesterday, um, walked down the first one, I was struggling not to stay on my ass the whole way down. But um, yeah, we struggled to get back up, we were climbing on our hands and knees. <laughs> but um, yeah, she's pretty slick, it'll be interesting to see how we go up them, like if we can get up them or not. And put to their ear I'm a show that's been waiting on the shore for a pound um, Pretty much survival, um, you know, 
you could be leading from the start, but you're not going to probably be leading, you know, from the end. So uh, it's just survival. Hopefully, you know, if your bike doesn't get too much water in it and stuff like that, and these hills down the back here are massive, gorges that the bit I walked, and uh, bikes are probably going to be getting hot and boiling. And so that's just going to uh, go out there and try and stay on the bike for as long as I can, keep clean and and keep you know fit for the last hour and try and push hard again like I did last year, and hopefully it all should come together. Don't know, don't know whether. Yeah, how possible it's going to be. Just ride and uh, ride to the end, and and you know push on to the end. It's it's a very long race, and and uh, try and stay on as much as possible. Just try and survive and keep your bike in one piece and um, body in one piece, and see where it ends. You know, see where it, where you're at on the last lap because with those hills, you know, might make it up once once no problem, and the next lap you can't barely get up. So it's really anybody's sort of race, depending on what way the luck goes. <laughs> Got a got a ripping start. It was out the whole shot, and there was some kind of like uh, funky jump thing out there that he was doing in prologue. And I got excited and probably jumped about 70 foot off it and uh, landed on a rock. And my front wheel burst to pieces, and I went out the front and uh, might have broke my wrist. So that was a bad start to me race. And uh, so basically, just you know, came back and restarted me race again. You know, maybe five ten minutes behind everyone, and uh, just had to you know put the pieces together and try and make the most of you know what had happened and and uh, just grip my teeth and get through to the finish. Rocky sections. Um, lucky there was plenty of people down there to help out. Uh, otherwise, you know, it would have been a lot more energy burn. But um, you know, you just had to keep your momentum up and um, not as soon as you got going, just try and keep going as much as you can. Uh, that slowed us up a little bit. Jarvis, he was gone already. He was out of that section. everywhere it was pretty gnarly and there's 
fair few people there helping out and stuff, pointing lines and that. It was pretty, pretty hard, yeah. Yeah, it was you know it was heaps hard of you know they put the the harder creek creek rock bed section in and uh, you know luckily you know there's a few guys out there giving us a hand to get through just picking the bikes up for us and throwing them so. Yeah, you know, I'd probably the most pit stops out everyone today. I had a bit going on, but um, yeah, it's always good. You know, the, all, you know, the best way to have a good pit stop is to um, have a good team behind you. And luckily, you know, all these guys are passionate, and, and um, you know, there's people out on the track ringing through. Just, you know, if I need something, I just yell out. And um, yeah, it was good. It worked well. The pit stops were quick and efficient. So. I bent my disc, my rear disc in the creek down here, so I pulled in and we changed the wheel. Um, I lost a few places there and we went back out and and then, um, yeah, something broke in the caliper then after, on the same lap, so uh, I had another another lap without brakes and had to come in and change the whole uh, brake line over rear brake line, so. minutes or something there um, I lost a lot of places so there's not much you can do like I wanted to try keep going but there's some really big gnarly downhills down there and if I had no rear brake I would have just crashed my brains out so um, you know it's just one of those things you have to get it fixed and then get back out there so that sort of put an end to my day but I still enjoyed the race so it was good.
fantastic feeling to win, especially a new event when you, you're just not sure how, the other, how fast the other riders are and you don't know the track. And so, yeah, it's a good feeling. Well, it was a new event for me, so I didn't know what to expect, but uh, I did a bit of research watching it on the YouTube. I, mean, it, I was a bit worried because it didn't look too difficult, not as extreme as I was expecting, but luckily it rained, made it pretty tricky. It looked more difficult than last year, so I'm sure I made a bit of time up in the, in the rocky gully parts, but I had good speed and the bike went well, so yeah, it was a good day. Thing with the extreme events, that every event's different. Um, a lot of them are a bigger laps, more in the countryside. But a multi-lap event like this, it's perfect for the crowd. It's got pulled a big crowd in today. Yeah, for three hours around here, it's just a gnarly course, and it's yeah, definitely extreme enough. Very happy. I was stoked. Actually, I, I didn't know where really, really where I was where I was running. So I was, I was very happy when they said I was second. So, uh... You know, struggled a bit in the wet, but you know, overall it was a, a pretty tough. Probably one of the toughest races I've ever done, and uh, I definitely want to improve and uh, come back next year. Yeah, I think it was quite challenging. It might have been a different race for me if I had have, um, you know, not had so much bad luck and my chain didn't keep coming off. But um, yeah, I'm happy to finish, and that was the goal once once I went out again. So yeah, all in all, it was a good day, and I think they, you know, the track was awesome, and the club, you know, everyone put in, you know. I know uh, they put in such a big effort to run the event, and you know it's really good. And that Jarvis fellow, you know, come out here and smoked us. So next year we're gonna have to go out there and uh, and beat him. So <laughs> yeah, it was tough. I just just struggled for strength today. So um, it was hard. Real um, technical rocky section out the back is where I was, I was getting killed every lap. Just short legs and no skills. I was just falling over and get stuck, losing a lot of time in there. But um, no, it was. It was tough and the guys that um, did well, Jarvis is really good in this stuff. I actually kind of enjoyed the race. I had a few crashes that I wasn't happy with and, and the bike trouble sort of bummed me out a little bit, but um, the race was actually pretty cool. Um, you know, it, as each lap went on, the, the lines got uh, better and better and the, and the rock sections got a bit easier. So it actually, it's really hard at the start and then it got easier. So, um, but yeah, it was, it was a good race.